Greetings. I'm going to go over something today that was mentioned in my teacher's book, The Tao of Tai Chi Chuan, of which I was a content editor. And this is from the Tai Chi classics. Now, my teacher always taught from the classics. And um, Master Jotun Wah stressed that really out of all the teachers, it's just the Tao and the classics are really what teach you Tai Chi. A person is just what helps to relay some of that information to you in human form. Now, the 13 torso methods were authored by Wu Yuxiang, and he was the founder of the Wu Hao style of Tai Chi. And the rest of it was authored then by his nephew and student called Li Yi Yu. The 13 torso methods form the basis for all traditional Tai Chi teachers when they talk about structure. I'm going to go over the first one today. Um, I think it's mentioned as the first one because it's probably the most important. The, the secret of the 13 torso methods is when you get this, or if you, if you get most of these, just, just the majority of these, maybe about five to nine of these 13 so-called methods, you are able to attain Peng structure in your body which is something that's even stronger than rooting. Pong or Bing sometimes it's called. And it's the ability to be very solid and unmovable and to vector the energy through your body. Now, if you can vector energy through your body, so let's say if an opponent is pushing you or doing something to you, you can vector it through. Well, you can also bring it up. So if you can bring it down into the earth, you can also call it up from the earth. So of course, a punch, a strike, a push, all of that will be more powerful if you can get your structure to harness the energy. And how do you do that? With the 13 torso methods. And the first one is called the hollowing of the chest. Now, this is called in Chinese han xiong. Han xiong is about sort of draining this area. I would say from about the base of your throat, that little notch there, to just underneath your xiphoid process or your sternum. So kind of like the chest area, but more specifically the upper chest. And um, the way my teacher translated this from the Chinese, and this is translated from the original, from the Tai Chi classics, the chest above the heart, which is kind of the upper area here, should be relaxed downward not lift it up as soldiers do when standing at attention. So you don't want to have this up and this down. Instead, you want this to come up and this to come down. But your head has to stay straight. Most people make the, um, make the Han Xiong in, in a wrong structure in their body because what they do is they do this. And notice what my head is doing. It's slouching. So you, you, you don't want to do that. You want to lift, also lift your head. But as you lift your head, and that lifts the energy through this meridian, the governing vessel. You also want to relax down in here. And that will also allow the chi then to pass down the conception vessel. So you get the health benefit. You get the chi circulation benefit. Keep your shoulders very slightly forward so you shouldn't be pulled back really hard. Just kind of let them hang down with sung. Properly cultivating this posture can let the mind's awareness lead the chi to every part of the body. The tendency to store excess tension in the chest area explains the sense of deep relaxation after a heavy sigh <sighs> and the importance of hollowing the chest during meditation as well as Tai Chi Chuan. By applying the torso method for hollowing the chest, you can release tension, lose inner anxiety, and meditate longer. What I've found, too, in dealing with a lot of people that write to me and email me um, about Kundalini syndrome or qi deviation through a lot of qigong or improper meditation techniques, a lot of that, well, <laughs> what I've found, a lot of that can be remedied if you just have proper han xiong. And again, like they mention in the uh, in the classics, the human body has a tendency to store excess tension here. So if you just imagine that somebody came up to you and started rubbing your shoulders, and you got a really nice massage, and you just kind of went, <sighs> just try that. Actually sigh. Try that. Just go, <sighs> not a sigh of pain or, or annoyance, but a, sign of a sigh of relief. Just, <sighs> you can feel that. This physically just drops, and you can actually sense that something has just kind of let go in this part of your body. 
So you can imagine how healthy that is for you and how good that is for your longevity as well as your cultivation of chi, whether you want to use it martially or you want to use it just for health and well-being. So please make sure that you use that all the time. It's so important. Those of you that know how to find the point called Sea of Tranquility or Conception Vessel 17 can use that point to help you with hanshong. In fact, when you push on that point, it gives you extra hanshong. And that's about four fingers up from the base of the sternum. And it's on the center of the sternum between the two pectoralis major muscles between the two breasts. And if you feel around in there, there's a little bit of a sensitive spot. And if you actually just kind of aim the, the pushing in, the pressure, a little downward, it can sink in and relax you and help you to get that hanshyong. You can also use the kidney 27 points, which are underneath the head of the clavicle toward the sternum. Any acupuncturist or very good teacher can help you find that. It's on both sides. You can also use those points. And what that will do is help to drop that tension out of you and take that tension and turn it into kinetic viable chi. So use Han Xiong and good luck.